I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed, bro. But should we? Should we be? Are we surprised? Are we really blown away by this? That's the real question. For all my fellow black people out there, are we really surprised about this? Because I thought I was. I am. I think I've come to the conclusion that I am. I know a lot of people aren't. I know a lot of niggas aren't. Especially since that Trump hat shit. Had us all wondering what the fuck was going on. But this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, Kanye's been my favorite artist since I was 10 years old. Since I was 10 years old. That was 17 years ago, bro. That was 15 years ago, actually. <laughs> but the point is, that's a long time. That's a long fucking time for someone to be your favorite artist. And he said some shit a lot. There's been a lot of times where Kanye has said some shit and I've been like, bro, no, like, he just on some different shit. Like, you just gotta wait for him to explain. Like, he even, like, he explained the MAGA shit. He explained the Trump hat shit. He explained the White Lives Matter shirt. He explained, like, that was, like, I knew off rip, or at least I thought that I knew, I thought off rip that that was just a, a comment on the status quo, you know? I didn't think this nigga would actually be... Hold on, y'all. I'm sick as fuck. I can't breathe. I didn't... I didn't mean to... Because he said the George Floyd shit. That's crazy. <laughs> I meant I literally couldn't breathe, bro. I'm sick as hell. Kanye went on Drink Champs for the second time, right? I think it was the second time. And not only did he double down on what he said about Jewish people, I feel like I don't have to give a lot of background into what he's been doing on Instagram or Twitter because who doesn't know? Even if you don't want to know, you know, bro. So we all know that he said he was going to go death con three on Jewish people. And he got banned from Instagram, banned from Twitter. But there are developments, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, on this Drink Champs interview, he dealt, he, not only did he double down on what he said about Jewish people, but he said that George Floyd died from a fentanyl overdose. And that the cop didn't even have his knee on his neck like that, like, you know? Bro. Bro, I be defending this nigga, like... I really be defending this nigga because he's my favorite artist and like he said a lot of shit and done a lot of shit in the past that I've just looked, I've just looked, I just ignore. This is, this is like a big deal to say. Even if it's like on some satire shit. Because, look, I'm not going to come across like I know what I'm talking about in this video because I'm also mentally ill, you know what I'm saying? So I know what it's like to not be able to communicate what you wanna say. I know what it's like to have all these thoughts in here and all that comes out is retardism. Like I know, I know what it's like, right? I know what it's like. And that's why I've always defended him because I've been like, bro, like he obviously didn't mean slavery was a choice. Like he obviously did, you know what I'm saying? This nigga's not a coon. I know what it feels like, right? Because I know that in this video, I'm not gonna come off articulate. I'm not gonna come off, right? Cause I don't know, you know? But I know that I would never say some shit like this cause this is crazy. And I know that I'm proud to be a black person. And I know that police kill black people every fucking day. And I know that George Floyd was murdered in cold blood by a white police officer. And that it was an example of police brutality. And I know that he did not overdose on fentanyl and so does everybody else, my nigga. So it's just so crazy to me to hear my hero, like, I don't know who my dad is, so I always looked up to Kanye because he, always, he like taught me to be proud of who I am and proud of my skin color and proud of all that shit. I know I'm dick riding hard as hell, but it's just facts. And to see him say some shit like this is wild. Now, I know that we're not supposed to idolize celebrities, and I don't, you know what I'm saying? He is 
just another billionaire. He just happens to be my favorite artist. You feel me? I try to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not trying to defend him. I'm not trying to come and say all this shit because in the at the end of the day, my opinion doesn't even matter. What I'm saying doesn't even matter. I'm just making this video from the perspective of someone who has been Kanye's biggest fan for their entire life. Like, my entire life. And I just, <laughs> it's crazy. I know it's not, I know that at the end of the day, he is a mentally ill celebrity. What he says in the grand scheme of things doesn't really matter. But to me, it kind of matters because some nigga who's just like me as a kid probably looks up to Kanye, right? And I don't want this nigga Kanye raising a generation of goons, bro. What the fuck? This nigga taught me how to dress how I want. This nigga taught me how to do what I want. This nigga taught me how to be a proud black person in this shithole of America. And now he's going online talking shit about Jewish people and saying that niggas is the real Jews and all this shit, saying all this shit, talking about George Floyd overdose. Bro, even if you are coming on there talking that shit because you feel like this is a way of being a contrarian and going against the grain my nigga too far when donald trump when donald fucking trump says that you are wildin nigga you are really wildin you are really going crazy and i know that this nigga off his meds this nigga wild as fuck right at some point, though, like, I know that we make excuses for this nigga because it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? This nigga made graduation. This nigga made life of Pablo. This nigga, Yeezy, black billionaire. Bro, at the end of the day, if he on some coon shit, we got to treat him just like we do Terry Crews. We got to teach him. We got to treat him just like we do uh, fucking Trevor Noah and Candace Owens. He was with that bitch. And that was to make a point, I think. <laughs> Bro, up until like a week ago, I was still on this nigga. I was still... Uh, <laughs> I promise you I was going to say back. I know that I'm dick riding, but I promise you I was going to say I was on this nigga back. That's still pause, though. But I was defending this nigga, bro, because... He's always had reasonings behind the shit that he said. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> When he said that shit about slavery and then he explained it talking about mental slavery, I understood it. I understood what he was, where he was coming from, you know? But this is crazy. And like I said, my opinion doesn't matter. I just wanted to come on here as someone who's damn near worship Kanye, bro. I ain't afraid to admit it, bro. Like Kanye is the goat to me, like the goat. Like, that nigga, like, he's him to me, you know? And it's just, like, it's just, like, proof that, like, you, you genuinely shouldn't, like, look up to nobody like that, you know? It's crazy. It's crazy. Because they'll do some crazy shit. They'll do some crazy shit, bro. Ugh. I don't know. If I'm being honest, look, I'm going to come out here and say this. I completely disagree with everything that he said. I'm going to keep listening to his music, obviously. This doesn't like, I'm able, to, I'm able to separate the art from the artist. I fucking love Marilyn Manson and Gigi Allen and all those niggas, bro. I love those niggas, bro. You know, I fucking love Marilyn Manson, bro. But like, you got to separate the art from the artist. And this is one of those cases where it's a little hard, bro. This nigga is so weird sometimes, bro. But I'll wait. I'll wait. Because there's still a little part of me that's like, bro, he will explain this. You know? Like, he will explain this. He will explain this, you know? And like I said, end of the day... It's just some celebrity talking. It's nothing to really make a big deal of. But the only reason I make a big deal out of it is because... 
And like I said, some little black kid is gonna hear this, bro. Some little black kid that looks up to him right now, you know? I just don't want... Bro, he has kids too. Like, I don't even know why I'm making this video, bro. I don't even know if I'll even upload this because I, 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 I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say because it's it's not a big deal. Like what he said is a big deal, but like at the end of the day, we can just shut this nigga out. Like we can just be like, bro, like, like whatever. Like I said, treat this nigga like Trevor Noah. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know, bro. I didn't even remember that Candace Owens was alive until I saw her with that nigga. Like I'm being so for real. Like I. Didn't, we can just exile that dude, you know? But at the same time, it's just like, so sad to me. It's just so sad to me. Whoever he's hanging out with, Jesus Christ, bro. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and complain about Gay's coonery. I don't know. Obviously, like I said, I completely disagree with it. That shit he said about Jewish people was wild. That shit he said about George Floyd was wild. And now he's buying that conservative social media app. Wants to make a little, wants to be a little black Andrew Tate, huh? Whatever, bro. Whatever. Fuck it, bro. Fuck it, honestly. Like, I just wanted to get on here say how crazy this was but y'all know how crazy this is because y'all are watching it happen right in front of you just like me uh, shit sad shit is sad bro but you know what isn't Bruce city boys podcast episode one is airing this sunday i'm sorry y'all i'm sorry like i said in the intro i'm sorry that it's taking this long for this to happen it, there's so much going on and i'm sick as fuck i'm so sick you can i don't know if you can tell you can probably tell but i'm sick as fuck but there's a lot of shit coming up um uh i think i think the uh poppy review just dropped Maybe. I might drop that after this, so spoiler alert. Pop a review coming soon. <laughs> but a lot of album reviews, a lot of movie reviews coming out. Um, I got like three horror movie reviews coming out for October still, so make sure you're looking out for that. I already reviewed The Invisible Man, and then I'm going to be shooting the Evil Dead review, and then the Midsummer review, and then a little surprise at the end. A little surprise at the end. But three more are coming. I got you. So, look out for those. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I love you guys. 121 subscribers. That's crazy. Um, almost 200. So, make sure that you subscribe because we going up. And I want to be able to monetize my videos. So, it's the thing, bro. Also, a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. So, subscribe. Did you see how I just asked you guys to subscribe in three different ways? gaslighting gaslight your audience you know what i'm saying thank you guys for watching i love you guys seriously your support means the world for Ugh. seriously your support means the world to me the dms that you guys have sent me over the past like month or two have actually made my fucking life like i've never gotten fan mail before so thank you guys so much it means a lot i'm being so serious so Keep sending it, you know? Keep sending it. Thank you guys for watching. R.I.P. Kanye, man. Peace.